jump for over an hour. Chris, thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, the network news is here first. Stay there! Why don't you hear me? I'm so damn tired. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere else. Get enough here. We don't know what it is that drives a man to take his own life. We only know that each of us deals with his private demons as best he can. We all hope that Mike has found the peace and solace that he sought. God knows he looked for it long enough. Let us pray. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Mr. Garnett, a letter for you. You're surprised as hell to hear from me, eh, Mitch? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I ain't screwed up again. Don't feel bad about it, man. I was just trying to make a statement. It's not what I had originally planned, but... Well, my time was running out. Look, Mitch... It'll make it easier to understand what I have to say if you go to my special place. Use the key at this address. I had this plan to make people listen. Mitch, I'm writing you, my man, because you're the only one I could trust. <laughs> Hell, I always said you was as crazy as me anyway. Before Veterans Day, I was going to take over Central Park. It can be done. I worked it out. It's all on the map.
found a section of an abandoned sewer system. It's my supply dump. It's where I plan to operate from. Everything you'll need is here. There's a list detailing my entire plan in a brown gunny sack behind the AK-47s. If you want to study it. Most of the explosives are already laid over the entire park. It was like a big game to see if I could do it without getting caught. It took me most of a year sneaking in nights to lay the stuff. I got mugged twice. Can you believe it? Mugging a vet. No respect, man. None. I stash shit everywhere. Careful, the clips with the red tape are live ammunition. The clips with the yellow tape are blanks. Most of the other stuff's non-lethal, big bang, lots of smoke, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't want to kill no one, just get their attention. Just for once. Got real tough the last few weeks. That cancer really knocks the shit out of you, man. Maybe it was the chemo. I keep thinking the cure is worse than the disease. Anyway, I know I'd never be able to go through with it. Just too weak. Hey, you! What are you doing in there? Nothing. Just looking around. Come here. You wouldn't be taking junk in there, would you? No. Told you. I wasn't doing nothing. What'd you put in your back pocket, then? Nothing. Map. This map. I love New York. I want you out of the park. What are you hassling me for? I told you I didn't do nothing. God damn it. Don't treat me like I'm some kind of fucking junkie. I'm a vet. I want you out of the park now. So get going. Yes, sir. It's up to you, Mitch. All the stuff's laid. Just needs to be wired up, is all. Set the timers. Do what you want with it. It would be a real hell of a thing, though, wouldn't it? Attention would be paid. You're a good friend, my man. The best. I just couldn't hack it anymore. Later. What do you want? 
I told you I didn't want to see you. How do I not come by to see my own wife and kid? Cut the bullshit, Mitch. You know what always irritated me when you talk dirty like that? I want to talk to my son. He's sleeping. How come every goddamn time I come by here, you tell me he's sleeping? Because every goddamn time you come by here, it's late. Bullshit. You're two months behind. I sent you what I could. I've only had a job for two weeks. I have not received any money from you for over two months. I sent you the money. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. Like the checks in the mail, right? Look, I, I, I don't want to keep going over this with you. No more. All I am asking now is now that you got a steady job, you just send some money to help support me and your son. I told you I sent you the money. And, and, and you're going to keep sending it every, every week, right, Mitch? Send you what I can. You, you do still have that job. It was a bullshit job. I hated those people. The boss kept calling me the Oki from Muskogee. Oh, Mitch, when are you going to grow up? This, this just keeps going on and on. Yeah. Yeah. But if you'd had a little bit more respect for me, things could have been different. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing what I lose around here. Especially from you. Well, then why in God's name don't you just do something about it? We're just going through to the west side. There are thugs and muggers and creeps in this park at night. You don't bring a lady in this park at night. Where are you from? Duluth. Come here, Duluth. Go. Got change for a dollar? I gotta use the telephone. I, I got about 80 cents. 72nd Street. City Hall, Officer Balkan. I want you to listen hard. I have a message for New York City. As of right now, Central Park is mine. Who is this? You better listen to me. I have set a series of explosions around the 86th Street Station House. The first three will blow up the yard at 10 p.m. After that, you will have 10 minutes to evacuate or else I'm going to blow up the Station House. 
I don't want anybody to get hurt. It's very important. And nobody will get hurt if we do everything my way. I'll have more to say to you later. Wait a minute. Don't... I want to let it shine, let it shine, whoa, shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it God, it's so boring and it's so quiet out here today. Well, that's for sure. Nobody's been killed for at least an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Check out the frequency for the breathing. Oh, all right, all right. What are they doing? They're MS stopping. 121, please respond to the 22 station house. You have a standby with the bomb squad. Do you know your location, okay? That's affirmed. Okay. Time out is 2155. Your ID number 927-642. Operator 242. Did you hear that? Yeah. How could that be? The dispatch has a bomb squad responding to the precinct station itself. Let's check it out. Well, Mike, old buddy, this is it. Hope you know what you're doing. If it doesn't work, oh hell, it just wasn't meant to be. I'll just walk the hell right out of here. If it blows, if it blows. It's pretty quiet to me. Yeah, probably some nutcase. Officer Balkan. You want to talk to you about the park? Yes, sir, you certainly did. Did I get your attention? <laughs> you certainly did. You got everyone's attention. Now, you listen carefully. I know all of these telephone calls are taped. Here's what I want. I want everybody to stay out of Central Park for 72 hours. That's all I'm asking. 
I have set explosive booby traps all over the park, and I personally am everywhere. So let's not have any stupid mistakes, okay? I'll uh, pass it on, sir. You do that. People will be hearing from me soon. It's all going to make sense. Mr. Keller? Frank? You know Kern here, Borough Commander, Manhattan North? Frank Eubanks. And you've met Giuliano, the 22nd. Chief. Tough night. This is an emergency. Please stay indoors. Stay off the street around the park. Stay away from window spaces. For more information, tune to local radio and television stations. Are there terrorists in Central Park? Hostages, ransom notes. What are the mayor's plans? The money on cutting his tour of China short? No, there's no need for that. Look, the mayor has an excellent staff, and the department has contingency plans for terrorist attacks. Mr. Dix, what are those contingency plans? Come on, I can't answer. Mr. Anything. Dix, is Central Park officially closed? Yes, that's right. Do you have any statement to make about the public no, safety, none Mr. At all. Dix? None at all. Frank, you'll deploy your manager on discretion. Come on in, David. You all know the deputy mayor. Christ, I hate the press. All right, Commissioner, what do we got? We have to assume several perpetrators are involved. Now, an emergency call-up went out an hour ago, so additional officers will be coming on traffic duty. We'll have to keep the four surrounding streets closed. The governor offered to guard. Bad idea. Overreaction. Agreed. Now, since we don't have a demand or hostages, our hands aren't tied. So you, Banks and his boys will carry the ball. I'll consult on that. There's no time for consulting. He's right, David. We got caught with our pants down, and my ass gets cold in the breeze. What's the status at the station? The station house is evacuated, as is the fire alarm headquarters on 79th. 911 in New York Tel have been notified. Whoever did this picked a good night. Low traffic, drives close for cyclists, no plays, nothing. Permission to enter the park, sir. Go ahead. All right, we're going to send our men south from the 85th transfers, using three teams of five men each. Now, that's where most of the action is here to Central Park South. Now, if we come up empty, we're going to have to go north past the reservoir to 110th Street. Are you with me? I'm going to use a simple grid search pattern, boxing in and out of the drives. Squad one will head west. That's yours. I'll take the second squad on either side of the Great Lawn. Squad three will head east. Any of you have any questions? Squad one, we're coming over toward the Delacorte Theater. Roger, Chief. Nothing, sir. Sure, spooky out there. It's that flat jacket. Squad three, what's your position, K? We're approaching the museum, and no sign of anyone yet. 
the road around the fire alarm building. Where is Daniel Hardy? Damn it. I didn't even see you. Camouflage for night fighting, sir. That's very funny. From now on, you and Hardy take the point. Get going. Let's go. on this one, Richie. Everyone else is covering Central Park West. Oh, I don't know. We, we might miss everything. Trust me on this one, darling. My instincts are incredible. All right. Fifth Avenue is where it's happening. All right, let's go. I'm going to turn around. Oh, shit. Sergeant Santini! Uh, into the ramble. We'll link up here and try to find some way around it. One. You heard? What the hell's going on? Command, this is Lita. You got a situation here. No. Abandon your position. Go to my squad to the west edge of the lake. Not possible, sir. We're blocked by the wire. Well, just take the and fucking go over it. Leader, this is Santini. Someone just blew our truck to shit. All right, forget it and work your way up east of the Rambo. And hurry up, for Christ's sake. We're moving out to help squad three. You'll have to meet us there. Roger, Chief. Where the hell are Hardy and Daniel? Oh, shit. They have to find us on their own. Let's go. Do not send any more men here. We will connect with Squad 3 and then assess our options. Roger. Up. Hey. Got on? Look at these guys. Hey, 
I really fucked up. Come on. Right. Get a closer one, then, all right? All right. All right. I got him. I got him. Look at this guy. He's a blood. Okay. Why don't you get, that? get the gun in here. All right. Party to leader. K leader, do you copy? Shit. Nothing happening at home. They all dead. We got to get to the street. I ain't moving. Fuck that. We can't stay here till they find us. I'm telling you, they're just waiting for us to jump ourselves, then they're going to pick our asses off. Come on, man, 72nd Street is just through those trees. Oh, shit, man. I used to sell reefer there, man. I know. The grenade launcher's live, boys. Now backtrack to 72nd Street and head out to 5th Avenue right now. What's going on in there? Is there a regiment in there or something? Can we talk to somebody? Got him? Yeah. Central fucking park! You hear that, Rachel? <laughs> I finally did something! To go to the fucking park. light out. The park is still closed, right, Frank? Where's the commission? He and Curran went to the hospital. We have some injuries. Broken ankle, shock, lacerations. These men are not going to be easy. You think it could be one guy? You don't believe that, do you? I believe it. But there's one goddamn man who knows something I don't. Sheehan Oswald. The commissioner feels that since uh, no violence has happened outside the perimeter, we can go ahead and open up the streets. Otherwise, we're going to have traffic backed up to Queens. So get moving. individual who controls the park. In exactly 20 minutes, I am going to make a statement. This person's scanners will be able to pick it up as long as they're within a mile of the park. I am using an FM transceiver and they should tune to 151 megahertz. 
I want my statements broadcast on all commercial and public radio stations. You got that? 20 minutes. You call the commissioner. I'll try and raise Dix. One guy. My name is not important. I'm just a guy. Nobody pays much attention to guys like me. I don't mean just because I'm a vet. I mean because my whole life has been directed by other people. I guess I let them. There's a lot of people like me in this city. They don't feel any control over their lives. A few weeks ago, I got fed up. Couldn't hold a job. Couldn't put certain things behind me. My wife and I split up and my little boy. Whatever. And then a friend of mine killed himself. He was a vet a good American, all those things. And when he wasn't useful anymore, it was like he didn't exist. It was like he was made out of glass and they just looked right through him and that boy disappeared. Let's hook into Manhattan North's computers and start running this down. I am staying in this park until 9 o'clock Wednesday night. That is Veterans Day. All I want is for all of you to think about what is going on in your lives and in this city, about how you are treated and how you treat other people. I came here to say that one ordinary man can have some power. Right now, I matter. Right now, I make a difference, and I will not disappear. God damn it, that's not the way you do things. You guys are stone wild. No, he's not. He's not by a long shot. We're gonna have to work a hell of a lot harder now. Public opinion is beginning to swing heavily to this guy. Mr. Everyman. The whole schmear. I just released a statement reiterating our belief that he's just a spokesman for a terrorist group. We're expecting demands at any moment. Certain people are going to be watching very carefully how we handle this. Very carefully. There he is. Come on, let's go. Mike, get it right on his face. Mr. Dix. Mr. Dix, do you think the man is alone in the park? No. Can you uh, tell us what your next step is going to be? Are you going to call the National Guard? I can assure you that that rumor is completely erroneous. However, we are certain that a band of well-coordinated, well-trained guerrillas is responsible, possibly with outside help. Can you elaborate on the outside help, Mr. Dix? That's all right. The action's concentrated mostly in here. But, sir, it's him. This is Deputy Mayor Dix. Go ahead. I didn't ask for you. I called the mayor. He's out of the country. All calls from you will be routed to me directly. Are you in charge? Yes, you could say that. All right. I just want to make sure we understand each other. If we do everything my way, nobody will get hurt. Do you understand? I understand. I know things can get pretty dinky dow sometimes. Yeah, I was in Nam. A month in the bush. I requested it. I was a public information officer, MECV. 
Look, I'm the only one around here who has any idea where you're coming from. I mean, that SWAT team cowboy would like to blow your shit away. Why? I'm not hurting anybody in here. What's your name? Fuck you. Okay. Fuck me. Look, if you have any problem, you call me on that phone. I'm the only one you need to deal with. But to talk to the commissioner, see what he says. If I have anything positive for you, I'll call you at this booth, okay? Right. And since I'm an idiot, I'm going to go for that. Here's what you do, big boy. You want to talk to me? You use the emergency line. Every telephone booth in this park will ring. I believe in safety first. Whatever you say. I just want to say my piece and move on. I don't want any more trouble than I already got. I want two sharpshooters covering every booth in the park from now on, around the clock. Sir, it's for you. Wait a minute. Yes? We got an ID on the guy in the park, David. We've a... Well, why do you want to do this? Why not? Well, what would Jerome say? What? Over already? One night is not a boyfriend make, Richie. Hey, but I thought you liked this mm. one. I like corned beef on rye, too, but not as a steady diet. Why are we even talking about this? A diversion. To keep you from going into the park. Come on, Richie, picture it. Central Park at dawn, vacant for the second day. Deserted. No dogs, no joggers, no voices, nothing. Quiet. Empty. Chilling. What about the guy that's in there? He's Looney Tunes. No one said you have to come in. No shit. You just have to help me get in. How's it look? You must be as crazy as you. Look, I'm gonna need your help to get over this wall. As soon as it's light, you get the shots and you get out, right? Right, later. Look, not a word about this to anyone, okay? You must be crazy. I promise. You're crazy. I promise. Okay. I promise. Thanks, Richie. you doing in here um i'm a photographer tv uh, i came in here to get some footage you know footage yeah footage on the park you know what i mean you're a reporter no no really see this is my camera shut up. i i shut up and let me think for christ's sake you know you gotta be crazy coming in here don't you know i got this whole park mind you could have been killed what if i jumped out of one of these trees and cut your throat you really screwed things up i hope you can appreciate that uh, um i'm sorry who knows you're in here besides me nobody well uh my partner, but he won't, he won't say anything. Ah. No, no, hell no, of course not. Get moving. What are you going to do to me? If anything happens to you in here, they're going to blame me. You get walking down this hill and keep your mouth shut. No, no, you see, because I wouldn't... Shut up! I, I, I wouldn't say anything. Move, 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 move. Move, move. Um, I... Um... Where are you taking me? Um, look. Move. Uh, In there. Uh, look. Oh. Look. Look. Take off your clothes. Pardon? Get naked. Please don't do this. Look. You do what he, 
you have to do, to do, but, um, please don't hurt me. Lady, I've got other things on my mind right now. I'd have a little bit of trouble relaxing, you know what I mean? Here. Put these on. You make a lot less of a target. In case I have to move you. Now, I don't want you wandering around here while I'm gone. I've got explosive booby traps set all over Central Park. You make one wrong move, you're dead. You understand that? I won't go anywhere. Mitch, what are you doing in there? Rachel? How'd you get this number? I don't want you calling me here. What difference does that make? Are you crazy? I didn't want anybody to know it was me. Oh, well, so you, so you shouldn't go broadcasting it all over the radio and TV. You saw me on television? No, I heard you on television. On the news. Mitch, the police are here. Have you any idea how embarrassing all this is? Why do you keep on doing these things to me? You! It's always you, isn't it? All you ever think about, Rachel, is you. That is not true, and you know it. How's Ben? He's okay. He's, he's at my mother's. He's too young to understand all this. Mitch, give yourself up. Why? Because you're gonna get killed. You know, maybe that'd be the best thing for everybody. Uh, goodbye, Rachel. I don't want you calling me here no more. Mitch! M Mitch, I really do love you, you know? I do. Goodbye. up on me.
What is wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Look, it was done behind my back. No authorization. Sometimes the chain of command gets screwed up. You can understand that. I could have blown that goddamn helicopter out of the sky. Next time I will. Jesus Christ! I give you my word, it won't happen again. Look, I'm on my way to a meeting right now with the commissioner. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you get the time you need. We don't want anybody killed either. You better get your act together, big boy. God damn it, Dick. I want to know about these decisions, especially when my own men are involved. Frank. I mean, you wouldn't be knocking on their wives' doors. Frank, the commissioner okayed it. If you've got a problem, you talk to him. Talk hell with the commissioner. Things just bounce right off you, don't they? Now, considerations here. I don't think you see. Like your goddamn political career. You have your job. I have mine. Seems you're having trouble with yours. I don't believe it. I don't fucking believe it. The man tells me one thing, and he turns around and he tries to kill me. He tries to fucking kill me. What'd I do to him? Do I hurt anybody here? No. If I ask for money, or my own country, or a plane to Argentina, do I want to be the emperor of Wyoming? Hell no. All I want to do is remind people they don't have to take shit their whole lives. I guess that makes me some kind of goddamn dangerous person. Or something. I didn't say you could do that. Look, people should know about this, about what they're doing to you, right? You got something to say. That's what you're here for, isn't it? That's why you're in this park. You want to tell people something? You want the world to know about this? Let me get it on tape, and I'll make sure it's seen. You'll get national coverage. All right. Here's the deal. I'll let you come with me. You take your own chances. I am not responsible. Yeah. Is it rolling? The whole time. Fine. What are you doing? Come here. read some clippings I've been collecting. They're little short stories that were buried in the back pages of the newspapers, things people did to each other. None of these people were rich. None of these people were famous and none of them were on television. 
They just lived their lives until something terrible happened to them. And then nobody helped. January 14, Gary Black, 78. An invalid was found frozen to death in his apartment this morning. Medical authorities estimate he had been dead a week when found. Gary Black's heat got turned off because he couldn't afford to pay the bill. February 9, John Flynn, decorated Vietnam veteran, drove his car through a deserted building in the South Bronx last night, killing himself instantly. Friends said Flynn had been seeking help to stop the, quote, horrible pictures in his head, unquote. They uh, didn't think it was that serious. Um, March 9, Manhattan. Toby Lester, age six, has been locked in the family basement for the last three years, chained to a steel cot and fed from a dog dish. The Down syndrome child was, in his father's words, an embarrassment. Neighbors interviewed said they occasionally heard screaming, but they didn't think it was any of their business. May 23, Brooklyn, New York. Eat that. Weaver, what's yours? What's your first name, Weaver? Larry, but nobody calls me that. Shit. Smell like a cigarette. You know, the uh, cops say that only a terrorist could be doing what you're doing. You know, I'd like to haul my ass right over that wall. Why don't you? Too late. They know who I am. And I would like to strongly reaffirm that we are dealing almost certainly with a group of trained terrorists. And there is a danger. There is a danger in ending this situation a carnival air. These people have wantonly endangered lives destroyed public property and flagrantly broken the law. Yes. Commissioner, any break on the identity of this man? That's men, not man. We are presently utilizing all means to identify the perpetrators. Yes, sir. If this is a group and not a single man, why haven't they made demands? That is something that I... We, we have received what could be interpreted as a demand or threat. What the matter? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't be more specific at this time for security reasons. There's money involved. We will have more for you as conditions permit. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Dix, what the hell is wrong with you? You cannot fabricate that kind of thing. I just felt we needed something to bring the people back our way. And he did say the next time he would shoot to kill. Mister, you have got a lot to learn. No more surprises. You understand that? This whole thing is twisted enough without you helping it along. Come on, come on. Who's going to root for the underdog? I got the cops. Eight to three hours. Eight to three doesn't make the 72 hours. Come on. We're out here in the streets of Manhattan on this is the second full day of what has uh, come to be known as the Siege of Central Park. Speculation continues, uh, fueled by a statement made by Deputy Mayor David Dix concerning just who is in Central Park. What do the citizens of New York believe, sir? Uh, Elton Costanza, right? I'm from Queens, and uh, hey, I'm all for the guy. I see. Yeah. You believe he's a uh, single person then? Huh? Oh, most definitely, yeah, absolutely. You see, what this guy is doing, you see, he's sort of speaking out for all of us, right? Right? Yeah. Only in America, right? Yo. 
Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am. Uh, oh, uh, I believe what he's doing is wrong. I don't care how honorable his intentions. He's terrorizing this whole area, and I, for one, don't expect the authorities to let him have his way. Let him have his way. What is he doing is against the law, and he should not be encouraged. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have another uh, person right here. Uh, Miss, uh, thank you very much. My name is Lona Shin. Miss Shin. And I can't tell you how it warms my heart to see a man with some gumption for it. I'm so sick of those moon-eyed, pencil-necked wimps running around on the TV, doing talk shows and everything. I just can't stand it. Thank you very much. And what's more, I wish those cops would leave the poor boy alone. We don't care if they took over the park for a few days. Why should they? We pay for them, don't we? Well, thank you very much, T-shirt. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. T-shirt, any size, just six dollars. Uh, now back to uh, the studio. That's better. Good. Go ahead. Well, one day I'm in the jungle watching all my buddies get blown away. The next day I'm driving into the 7-Eleven to buy myself a Slurpee, just like that. It's hard to readjust. My friend Mike used to say, nothing's relevant anymore. I mean, back over here, it's all about, I hope the bills get paid. I hope my old lady ain't mad at me, shit like that. It's it's not even real. But this is real. Oh, yeah. This is real. Um, you were in the Marines? No. U.S. Army. What not you do in the Army? Sneak into places and blow shit up and kill people. You know... People heard what you said on the radio. They, they they know why you're here. I don't. Dr. Mueller. Uh, perhaps, Commissioner, I should go last, yeah? Fine. General Bryan. In light of recent incidents, gentlemen, perhaps you'll reconsider the governor's offer. Technology, gentlemen, technology. There's a variety of infrared seismic intruder devices that can detect movement. The ANPPS ground radar can indicate a target to an accuracy of 25 yards. We have all kinds of infrared people snippers at our command. The department has all that equipment. With all due respect, General, that kind of technical operation takes time, and they're impractical on this type of terrain. We'd have to reroute subways, clear the streets for a half mile in either direction. We can't take that kind of time. One's well taken, Commissioner, but I have an alternative. Tiger sweep. Tiger sweep. Units of the 42nd Rainbow Division surround the parks. Teams of Mind detection personnel precede the column at various points. Now, as the ring tightens in and contact is made, the enemy either surrenders or is eliminated. It's a one-day operation. What about wire and booby traps? Won't that slow you down? Suppose it gets down into the sewer system and behind your column, General. You can be chasing them for weeks. Not a thrilling prospect. The guard will supply air surveillance. Thanks, sir. Remember Detroit in 67? Right, along the transverse roads and routes. If it gets really hairy, we can go in there with the M2s or the 57 millimeter recoilers. Good, Think good, about it. Good, good. What's the kill rate? How much is well, this going I'm... to cost? Tiger sweep. Hell, it'll cost $10 million. The mayor won't stand for it. It'd be humiliating if we have to bring in the National Guard to take out one man. You've already been humiliated. May I, Commissioner? Central Park's 900 acres of heavily wooded, essentially flat terrain is cut into six roughly rectangular sections by transverse roads, yeah? 
we must reduce the area the gorilla can occupy for cover in order to <clears throat> force him to reveal his position. Uh, the timetable I would describe would be repeated in each section. A C-123 provider drops fast-acting defoliants on heavily wooded areas only. Defoliants? You can't burn away half the park. Uh, we can rebuild it safer, better. I like it. Solid. Ham's been sane. He's already been in there 48 hours. I say uh, we give him the rest. Absolutely not. No man is going to hold this city up to ridicule. No man! We will remove him before the deadline. Frank, this isn't a game. There aren't any rules. No code of the West. It's done. Just accept it. Is this the guy I talked to before? This is the deputy mayor, yes. <laughs> so you're calling me now. What do you want, big boy? I want you to surrender your weapons and come out of there. And we can talk. Address some of the issues that seem to bother you so much. We already had this conversation. I'm coming out of here when I want to, how I want to. Look, we have the entire park perimeter surrounded. How do you expect to walk away? I did it before, didn't I? What are you calling me for anyway? What is this shit? They're trying to kill us. Yeah. They're gonna have to do a lot better than that. Move off down the hill. Move. What do you mean, neither of them? You mean there's another person in there? All right. Sniper spotted another person in there with him. Are they positive? Yeah. All right. Let's keep that information to ourselves. He could be a hostage, but he hasn't tried to use him. Now, his partner. Either way, we got to go ahead. Time's running out. I believe it. You think I'm stupid? I think I'm really stupid. 
You know who it is? No idea, but he's persistent. Whoever's calling hasn't hung up yet. Nobody's answering. And the guy in the park answers. I'll put a trace on the call. Maybe they saw me. I'm going to talk to them. I got to answer this. Hello. Who is this? Who's this? Is this the park? Yes. It's your wife. <laughs> I told you not to call me here. Who was that who answered the phone? That was a woman. No shit. Well, what's a woman doing in there with you? She's not a woman. She's a news person. She's videotaping everything is all. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What, what did you do it for? It's my fault. Is it my fault? It is, isn't it? It's nobody's fault. What are we going to do? Baby, I got this insurance policy. It ain't much, but it'll get you started again. Rachel. That's it. One all lines to the park. Cut off right now. <gasps> Those bastards! They played another trick on us. It ain't going to be funny. Let's go. When I first started this thing, I wanted people to hear me. You really hear a person for once in their lives. You know what I mean? I hear you. Believe me, but there are a lot of people out there who aren't going to like the way you're attracting attention. Well, they're going to hear a lot more. This park is mine. I'm not leaving it until I decide. I know you're listening to me out there. I'm sure you know they are trying to kill me. And what the hell I should have expected. You won't be hearing from me again. I have said everything I came to say, but I am not leaving until it's time. I am not leaving until Veterans Day. If anybody tries to come into this park while I'm here, if anybody tries to harm me while I am in this park, they will wish they had never been born. finally got an idea on the woman in the park. What woman? Some kind of TV journalist. Her partner came in a while ago, said she hopped the wall last night. Apparently she should have been out by now. We will assume that she's a hostage. We're keeping a partner away from the press for a while. Less than complications. Frank, I want you to take a look at this. That's Oscar Verdanken. He's a Dutch national. He's fought in Vietnam, Angola, Afghanistan, the Middle East. He's known worldwide, something of an idol to the soldier of fortune set. The other man is Tran Chan Din. He hooked up with Verdankin in Vietnam. He's a master of guerrilla warfare. They come highly recommended. Commission, what you're telling me is that these we have two hired killers? One of them a fucking Viet Cong's going to get this man? I mean, is that what I'm hearing? Frank, you're out of line. I mean, what about the woman? What about the concern? They will be instructed to take every precaution. Now, that's it. That's it. 
You're certainly not going to participate in the murder of a hostage. That's what she is. A trained two-man force has a much greater chance of getting her out. This is wrong. I mean, what are you going to say to the press? I'll tidy it up. You'll tidy it up? That's my job. We want him in the park before dawn. got to be it, Frank. If we don't get them out with them, the press is going to hang us up to dry. Mission, I got to tell you, this stinks. Look, no one's making you go in. Well, somebody's got to go in there, and it's not for their protection. No matter what you might have been told, this operation has only one purpose. Search and destroy, you understand? This insignificant little asshole is on its way too long. You know that? What the hell are you doing out here anyway? I woke up and I did. I. I didn't know where you were. We gotta go back inside. Hold it. Freeze! Do not move. Jesus. Don't move. Step back. Somebody's in here trying to sabotage my program, Valerie. Holy shit, that mine is real. Real? Yeah. Claymore. What's a Claymore? It's an anti-personnel device, Valerie. This little baby right here will blow you up. Kill you dead in hell.
are you doing? There are individuals out there, Valerie, who are trying to kill us, and they are all totally fucking crazy. And you? What are you? I've never tried to hurt anybody. You put a gun in an old man's face, and you tell him you're going to blow his head off. And he dies of a heart attack because he's so fucking scared. And you're not responsible because the gun isn't loaded? I'm getting you out of here at first life. Give me a break. We're both dead and you know it. Look, I realize I am a total fucker. I will get you out of this park. This wine bottle. There.
sons of bitches. Look what you're doing. They're sending the Viet Cong in here. This is the middle of Central fucking Park. They are sending in the Viet Cong to kill me. Shit. We're going back. I got to have some more hardware here. God damn. Shit. Okay, I'm going to get you as close to that wall as I can. After that, you're on your own. Okay. You make sure people see that tape. Yep. Think it'll make prime time? That cinch. What about you? You can forget me. Run like hell for the east side. Go! Hello! You idiotic motherfuckers! Have shot an innocent photojournalist here! A female! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Are you crazy? There's a man dead back here! Look! The girl still has a chance! Put some trust in you. I'm coming out. Look, this this war is over. Look, the man's dead. The girl still has a chance. Putting my gun down. All I want to do is, I want to go over there and I want to pick up the girl. I just want to leave the park. Now that's, that's all I want. Pick her up now. And I'm gonna leave the park. <laughs> okay. I'm going out now. No tricks. We're leaving. The 
Park's yours. Two dead men back there. He asked for nine o'clock. We'll wait. Now, just a minute. We'll wait, man. We'll wait. I'm sorry you got hurt, Valerie. Thank you. You did it, you know. Okay, let's go. Do you think you made a point? 